Hey there, everybody. I was browsing Facebook and stumbled across something pretty interesting. I saw an article about the new ESP32. Now, this is pretty exciting because if you're at all familiar with the ESP8266, which is a pretty nifty little piece of kit, um, what it is is a system on chip for under ten dollars okay you can get them for like four dollars two if you look carefully um, and it is compatible with the Arduino library so you can program it with regular Arduino code um, you can build Wi-Fi connected devices with this little chip for practically no money at all. Um, now this is really exciting because that little chip has the power to open up a whole new world for makers and inventors by bringing the cost down for something that generally had been pretty expensive and not only that but with the work of the community interested in this chip by porting it to the Arduino library it's super easy to use relatively but uh, there's been news for quite a while now about a new version by the company Espressif that makes it um, called the ESP P32. Now, this chip has been touted to be more powerful, okay, to have improved Wi Fi and also have Bluetooth low energy. Um, so that opens all new options up by having all of that available all in one chip for a low price. It's awesome. Okay. You may have seen this project that I worked on about a year ago. Um, and what it is, is a Wi Fi motion sensor. And it uses the ESP8266. Um, I designed it all myself, had a lot of fun building it, wrote all the code. And essentially what it does is when I wave my hand in front of it, it sends a push notification to my phone, which I can then view from my smartwatch, what have you. I can do whatever I want with that, program it, set it up in any way I like. Um, it uses a PIR motion sensor from Adafruit um, that I modified bypass the voltage regulator so I could run it off of 3.3 uh, .3 volts um, which is what the ESP8266 runs on. Um, I designed and 3D printed this case for it and I'll go ahead and show you that. So in the bottom I have a battery also from Adafruit. And the next level up, you can see it's got cutouts to put the cables so it's not bent too tight and has a slot for them to run through. And then we have the battery charging circuit. Let's get that under the light. Um, so the battery is connected beneath, and then the power or load goes to the ESP8266, uh, and uh, I soldered on a little capacitor on right there. Um, that was confusing to figure out and ended up solving a lot of issues I had with it, 
Anyways, really fun. Really inspiring for me to have had built this and got me thinking a lot about all the different things I could build with this little chip. Um, anyways, so it's got me back in the Internet of Things and electrical engineering headspace, and that's really good. I like having my mind there. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of these or maybe a few of them in the next few months. Um, I just did some reading about it. Um, apparently it's available now, but for example, with this, um, part of what made this a smooth and much more pleasurable process to build was this breakout board, okay? This ESP8266 has a breakout board it's soldered onto, um, also from Adafruit. Awesome product. And I don't think there are any of those available yet, but they're probably just about to come out. Um, there's a lot of people excited about this, so probably any day. Anyways, yeah, I'll be thinking about that. I remember I wanted to build uh, an Internet of Things enabled uh, portable weather station. Um, that could still be fun, but I'll spend some time and think of ways I could take advantage of uh, the Bluetooth low energy as well. Yeah. So, um, this YouTube is going to be a companion to my Instagram, also under the same username, Laztech. But I think that my interests and the things I want to share online are much better suited for video. So odds are I'll probably be focusing on this a lot more than Instagram. But um, I'm not ready to abandon that yet. So uh, yeah, go ahead and check me out. Follow on Instagram at Laztech. Um, and you can see some more footage, pictures, and some of the build process of 3D printing, this ESP8266-based Wi-Fi motion sensor, um, along with a bunch of other projects and pursuits I've been working on.